Viewer discretion advised. What's up YouTube? Big D here. Time to review Sons of Anarchy Season 7. Episode 8, titled The Separation of Crows, man. Spoiler review, if you have not seen the episode, go to fx.com slash Sons of Anarchy. Watch the full episode there. Come back. It should take me less than two minutes to recap the whole episode. Just go real quick, tell you pros, the cons, and my final score. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget, every Tuesdays I also review Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., The Flash, and every Wednesdays, Arrow, Supernatural, and American Horror Story Freak Show. Alright, so Jackson and Chibs are talking, man, and he's like, I love you, Philip." And, of course, Jibs is like, I love you, Jackson. You know, that type of thing. And they're sending Abel home. Bobby tells Moses how it is, basically. He And Bobby starts laughing with a cigarette, and he's like... You know, Bobby just tells Moses that he's not going to win. And how it is of how your job is, and it's stupid. And Jack's... There's a gunfire going on, and he's like, Come on, bro! And it's that girl from True Blood, the one that had Emma, the baby pet... Um, uh, Shifter. If you've seen True Blood, it's that mom with a wolf pack. A wolf pack without seed. Uh, anyway, so Gil, Jerry's son, and they hit the kid with a lunchbox, or Abel hit the kid with a lunchbox. Uh, Gemma's bird is dead when she got home, and in uh, Thomas's room it said, No son is safe. So Jerry knew it was Jax that killed his son, Gil. Jerry didn't rat, though. John sacrifice, which is Jax's dad, he's saying it's a possibility that your dad killed himself. And Jerry's dead, Jax kills him, but he says it's an accident. It's an accident, guys, don't worry. And, uh, what is this accident? Do you? Oh, no, 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 not an accident, but Gemma is talking to Abel and was like, do you know what an ac accident is? And Abel's like, do you? And Nero's just like, Oh, that little shit, you know, like, do you? And I'm just like, damn, Abel's growing up, man, so fast. They grow up like weeds. You just gotta burn them. Um, Bobby's getting his fingers cut off, man. It's very sad, and Juice is crushing a roach at the end. And another box comes, presumably holding Bobby's fingers. So at the end, it kind of ends like last week with the box again, but they were on the roof this time, so we're good. So pros to cons, man. What did I think about this episode overall? Now, the cons, 50% of this episode was slow. Um, juice. They didn't use juice as much. I wanted to see juice. Just don't, Kurt Sutter, stop doing waiting after an episode. Wait, just go kill Len already. Get it over with. Have juice kill him. Boom. Done. You're done with the storyline of juice. We don't need him anymore. Also, I'm tired of Wayne. I liked Wayne at first, but Wayne's getting annoying. I'm tired of his face. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be mean to the actor, but I'm really tired of Wayne and visiting that girl in the hospital. Nobody cares about the person at the hospital. She could have died, but she was running all stupid and she got shot. I was like, ah. I mean, no one cares. Really. I don't care. Um, I don't care for Wayne's storyline. Have him killed already. I mean, it's done. Why is he hiding secrets from Jari or Jerry, whatever that girl's name is? Stop it. Stop it. Uh, pros. The action in this episode is pretty fun. I've seen better action the Sons of Anarchy, but for what we had was suffice. The ending is still... I love the camera quality and the angles. I love the camera work for this show, man. I just love it to death. Um, Gemma on this episode and Abel. Let's give it to Abel every week, man. Pat on the back for Abel. He's a great actor. I'm smelling some Emmy nominations up in here. <laughs> the youngest Emmy award winner? I doubt it. Uh, dialogue. I mean, I hope, I wish it was possible, but probably doubtful. Uh, the dialogue in this episode was fun, as always. And uh, you could feel, this is the episode where you actually feel and you put in your mind that the end is near. Like, this is, it took me time to process it, but this episode, it's already saying, like, I'm tired already. Like, Jax is saying that. And you could tell that it's already coming near the end. You could smell the filet burning. It is literally close to the end already. We're going to the end of the road. Our ride's going to stop soon. So you could tell by this episode that they're ready uh, to die. And I, I love just the love you could feel in this episode with the, you know, brother. And let's have a drinking game where every time somebody says brother, yeah, you'll be drunk within the first ten minutes. Um, thank you so much. 
Hope all of you enjoyed. I'm going to give this episode a B plus, secondarily just a B, a solid B. Overall, I thought it was a fun episode, yet the slowness and the less juice and the less Wayne, or the more Wayne. If we get rid of those, it'd be better and make it a little bit more faster, keep the pacing up. But other than that, you know, the action and the writing and the camera angles are so fun and so amazing. That's what I like about it. So anyway, the separation of crows, did it work for me? Yes, it did. But still, there are some... Uh, some stuff we have to get through to uh, make it to Sanctuary. So overall, thank you so much. Uh, hope to see you all soon next week for episode 9 titled, What a Piece of Work, What a Piece of Work is Man. <sighs> you and your long titles, I have to spell it out all the time. Thanks so much, guys. Peace and love. May the smock be with you always. Comment down below and let me know what you guys thought about this week's episode. Oh, Jackie boy.